seems to be all working. All working, all working, testing, testing. So far seems to be good. Seems we are all go. Checking stream status. So far all's good. Participating. Let's get started. It's been a week. Hell of a week. Stream it again. Let's get to it. Okay, we just have Braga. Dealt with some uh, not so nice uh, cop marshals. The marshals can kiss my ass. Hey, Ellen, did you ask your wife about the uh, I'm sure they could use my help. Let's go deal with a pissed off Daisy. Extra, extra, bloody shootout is starting up inside. Would you rather freeze to death or burn? <laughs> You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Oh, come on, answer the question. All right, all right. Burn. It's on faster. Nice to see the city back to life, huh? Yeah, people are shopping, building. Tell me it ain't true, Rangers. You worked out some kind of shady deal with Brigo? Bullshit. McTavish took the fall for his boss. Ain't no way, Brigo. And what about the part where you killed that fat ass Lipinski? He knew you'd let Brigo off the hook, didn't he? Probably tried to stop you so you shot him dead. People? Brago and his thugs count as people now? So do you. I thought I was pretty clear about how all this was supposed to go down. Real clear. Easy now, Daisy. The Patriarchs invested a lot in these folks. You don't want to... Shut your hole, Quan. Don't make me ask you where you were when they shot Lipinski. Might have been an idiot, but he was still a marshal. We're done here. I'll find some other way to take down your pal Brigo, and it won't include you. You know where to find the door. Yeah, 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 whatever. Whatever, Daisy. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Say, let's get the H E double hockey sticks out of here and head to Broadmoor Heights. See what them fancy folks want to talk about. Though no, knowing fancy folk, it ain't that much. Shoot Not much that I care though. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas! Huh, at least they were simple about it. Even if they were, uh, been on the nervous side of things. Yes, y'all must know I am a Southerner. So I tend to talk like a Southerner sometimes. I'm in Team November, Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ, rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf, claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take-no-prisoner type. Over. 
That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. <laughs> Better than nothing. We'll be here, over and out. Yep. They want us to go hunt some sims. Welcome to the right side of the tracks. So they killed the Wessons, the Shulers, the Jacksons. Well, one of the Wessons is right here. Let's see what old fancy man has to say to us. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. Guilty. Where? There's our man. Ah, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. So I see some family and all that. I know, and I am grateful. But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? Indeed it is. She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first... You need to know the truth about this city. Sorry, things are just falling down. Don't you have to reprime that? Oh, resin never primes right. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them, but we don't. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the Marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories, rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating, and that is why I've called you. The Plains, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern gangs, people started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the gangs have returned, and all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. Not at all. You will be well rewarded, and not just in money. I do a lot of business with a local Arapaho garage, and I can get them to provide you with the mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. <laughs> you are doing Colorado like said, Springs a great so service. Goodbye, and good luck. I mean, like, remember something about some craziness going on in a hotel.
I could see my friend doing that in payday somehow. Where is everyone? Why, are, why am I still just stuck up there? I need to be down here with the rest of the crew. Sam's luck department? Who's there? What? You're here? I don't believe it! Yeah, yeah, we're here. Come in! Come in! Alright, let's go in. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant, is what I a a. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that marshal racket. What's Guy in room three. Er, he's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. He just says there's nothing going on, and there's no one in there but him. Lying to my face like I don't know shit from diamonds. How dare he? <laughs> This one's actually gonna be a fun one. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. Well, let's do some investigating. I know he's up to something. I just know it. <sighs> okay, Rosie. We got it.
save the room, but it never hurts to do a little bit. I got higher skill. What's in the toaster? Like him the fuck out with one punch. Well, I guess while we're here too, we'll talk to. Talk to this gear. Hey, who's in charge in here? You're the CEO around here. Huh. Okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ, then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You want to go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. Hmm. All right. We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly. 
but there was a snafu and we had to open fire. Shot up the street, wounded some civs. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth. Acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. <laughs> Add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. We got a lot to deal with on our hands right now, Gary. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. I know where it's hiding already. Here to serve. Uh, hey, November. Come say hey when you're free. Hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. You bet. Ready when you are. All right. Hank, you two! You can't fight here! This is the war room! <laughs> no fighting. Rangers, good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look.
Doesn't he have five strength? Yeah, he's got five. One viewer, yeah, that one viewer is me. Then they all us. <coughs> now let's get back to the battle. Kale. I already know where it's coming from. It's coming from the building right next to the hotel. It's hiding in there. Where you're going to? Do you like the things that guy, the greatest mind of a generation, thrown down the Gazaman plat? Eureka! The secret at last! They must never know. No one must ever tell them. Eureka! The secret at last! What's my name? Why don't you tell... The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars. My own self. Be my own self. Just like you, I swim as cuff schmidlo to
am a human just like you. I swim as cuff schmiddle to. Home again, juggity juggity jug. Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cards. You so much, you have been the most gracious of hosts. I am a human just like you. I swim as cuff schmiddle to get there all on. It's all over.
could have done that fight a little bit better, but hey, at least it's a good one. Confetti grenades. Colorado Dome. Hmm. Turn your gin into a Seems to be it on all that. Rainbow tables used to break encryption. Satoshi. New space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. Alert. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. Ensure transactions in mempool always have... Okay, room. about that old thing. That suitcase he gave us. If we leave this closed, we don't, don't open it to it like somewhere late game. Something fancy happens. What that fancy is, I don't know. I just know something fancy. Pulse gun, pulse gun. The convincer. Chicken. Yes, we're locked up. Coach gun. I think that's a shotgun. Mm. A lot of good stuff. What was all that noise? Did you just have a shootout in apartment three? Actually, don't answer that. Just tell me what Irv is doing in there. Well, I'm not paying you one Colorado penny until you can tell me for sure. Must be some kind of evidence in there. If I'm gonna evict a tenant for misconduct, I need all the proof. Ah, oh, this place attracts all the crazy.
What'd you find? Was he making bombs, like I said? Weird or how? Your chances. Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy. Always wearing a lab. Let me know what happens. Maybe I'll join the marshals and do like roughing people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. I even got my own blackjack. Have you ever noticed that the statue's eyes follow you wherever you go? Uh, hi. Welcome back, children. Had another rough night? Remedies for regret, children. Here you go, children. Salvation it. is at hand. Oh, you mean fucking. Yes, I've got plenty of books about fucking. <laughs> no, no, not fucking. Cloning. It's how you make new humans without sex. Jesus. Why would anyone want to do that? Shrink grenades are pretty useful. My favorite, Molotovs. Ask your wife about your concerns about her. You know, I don't want to talk about it. Come on, man. You can't leave me wondering. Hmm. 
Um, I guess. Wait, who are you? Is your name? I, I, I'm Irv. What do you want? Oh no, did you kill them? Of course we did. Oh, oh poor clones. They, they never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. I, uh... Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself, and I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He, he may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Well, well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. When they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. Sounds about right. Because you said cloning was good if, idea. If I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. Maybe you shouldn't have made them in the first place. Yeah, I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. Is the this... original? No, n not anymore. But I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too. Because I'm him, aren't I? <coughs> or, uh, I mean... I'm him, but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? You know the whole nature versus nurture debate, how some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and, 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 uh, and neither am I, I swear. You believe me, don't you? We believe you're not smart enough to threaten It's me. true. I'm not. I'm totally not. So, you're not going to arrest me? Huh? You're going to let me be a real scientist? This is the best. I, I'm so grateful. I'll do good work for you. I promise. Thank you so much. Well, we could use that. And plus, his cloning machine actually gives a side companion that's funny yet unnerving to work with. When me and my friend were playing it, I we used it, and I, I would tor He hated that thing every time he talked, and I would just click on the clone, and it would say something, and he would just be like, "Can't stop." It's tormenting my friends. Isn't that what friendship is? Just antagonism and. Tor tormenting each other just for funsies in a playful way and not a sociopathic way. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal anyway? Ah, oh, that's kind of sad. What did you do with him? Well, how about that? I'm glad to hear it. Never wished the poor man ill, just didn't want him here. Thank you, Rangers. Here's a little something for taking care of the problem and tying it up in a pretty bow. Ah, oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie.
really good on my fingers. If y'all didn't hear that, I just popped my fingers pretty good. Boy, do they, uh, they like that a pop. <coughs> Let's go get some ammunition. We may need some. Maybe I'll join the marshals. We do like to rough people up. Oh, there's that Zing person. Yeah, who? Oh. Hold on. You're the Rangers, right? Talk of the town. Welcome to Colorado. Officially, because of the Dorsey raid. But I think they didn't like the questions I was asking about the Patriarch's history while I was renovating the exhibit. I mean, why else would they tell me they'll be hiring a new curator? What's that got to do with the raid? Can you believe it? I really fixed up that museum. Before me? Just a bunch of dirty old trash we had to go look at five times a year in school. I brought the place into the 22nd century, scavenged some old robot parts to rebuild the animatronics, remade all the replicas from scratch, cleaned all the blood off the scar collector weapons. Good stuff. I don't even know. I sent Diligent Joe, the Patriarch's private secretary, a list of questions about the Dorsey family and the routing of the Plains gangs. Just trying to clear up a few weird discrepancies. Well, he doesn't get back to me, and then the raid happens, and I'm out on my ass with no explanation. That's weird, right? Heck yeah, I am! It was a real sight to behold before they shut it down. Animatronic exhibits portraying our great history. True relics of our struggle to serve. Just some real A-plus quality work, if I do say so myself. That's rad. Heck yes. Thank you. You won't regret. I'll see you back at your yeah, HQ. I was just going to get the museum in our HQ, because why not? Yeah. Did you ask? Welcome to the freshly reopened Taiwan Joneses. Well done scuttling those damn Dorseys in the gardens, chums. So, sardine leaf.
between rangers and marshals will there be blood find out here Would you the last issue of the colorado patriot Let's make sure there's no issues going on in the base. And let's actually look around at this maybe stuff we can find. Rangers. Hello, Rangers. Uh, um, permission to speak? I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I, I wouldn't be here. And I guess that's all I wanted to. Oh, and uh, Mom thanks you too. Guessing it's gonna be tough getting that Valor kid out of Denver in one piece, but it's gotta be done. That Valor kid doesn't sound much more stable than his brother. Hope you catch that victory kid soon, before he hurts somebody. found the rogue synth yet? The one that's supposed to be hiding downtown? Hey, can I borrow your mirror again? Sure, whatever you need. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. We're pitching in where we can. I hope we've been some help at least. Anything you need? Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. How did he... <laughs> no. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Uh, she, got, she got right to work on the... Time to make this place shine. Grab a mop and let's get to work. A mop? I'm a ranger. 
You're a ranger who was assigned to me. Get going. Join the rangers, they said. The life of adventure, they said. Nuts. Hey, rangers! Hope you like what I've done with the space. Hey, you certainly uh, got us spaced up with this one. Yeah, I like it. Nice work. Pretty sure the marshals are going to make the Reed kid have an accident in his cell. Since he helped the Dorseys get into the city, that's all right. What do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Thanks, Doc. Have a seat. If it ain't cut, don't stitch it. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. I... I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. But all I could do was read the books and dream. And now I can actually do things. You just gotta be careful with science. It's great in helping with the advancements, but sometimes things can go haywire. If you ain't careful, that is. A lot of people ain't careful these days. It's incredible! Thank you, Rangers. You saved my life. Man, I miss Vegas. We had it made back then. Tell me about it. We was king. Nobody did a thing in that town without asking us first. Or without us getting a cut of the action. Fucking robots! Yeah, I fucking hate those things. Yeah, fuck them! Hey, I'm Joey Bag of Donuts. And Mr. Brigo sent me down, you know, as thanks for helping him out with his, uh, trouble. Apparently, I'm supposed to be your new armory guy. That's good. You know, I know my way around this stuff. Let me show you. Looks pretty good on his stuff. Some from the arm, weapons and ammo stuff, but nothing we can't fix. Are you finished yet?
I understand your urge to go help those poor hoons, but old Saul isn't going to like you disobeying a direct order. And Daisy won't be happy either. That Arapaho shipment was full of power armor for her marshals. Sure thing. Let's have a look. There you go. Anything else? I'll be here. Stay vigilant, citizens. Communists are everywhere. They hate and fear us because we are free. Trust in the Gipper, and may the God President bless America. Oh, yeah, the Gippers. Funny folk. Denver. Bizarre. Master. Amigos, as soon show at the Clown Museum in Arriba. Take the tour, then visit El Big Top and look. Hello, all. My name is Flab, and it is my pleasure to bid you welcome to the bazaar. Come in, for the night air is chill, your wall is heavy, and our good plentiful. Bring us your wealthy, your rich. Your fool purses. And if you can't afford it, just... Hey, lambs. 
want to trade? My name's She Monster. I know, huh? Thanks for recognizing. Let's Let me open up the store. See what you got. Because with these kinds of things, Pals, you can find some pretty interesting things. Use a few more of these. Please, I assure you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not me. I know something is fishy here, and I'm leaving. Shame. Ah, over here, friends. Welcome. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I've not seen you here before. Know this, the bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed host, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you, inside the bazaar awaits a set. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranov, Mannerite missionary. Ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people of taste, a true rarity in these uncivilized lands. I endeavored to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious hosts? Ah, oh, such a polite sentiment. Thankfully, Mr. Manners teaches us to always have a spare suit. I could not leave a fellow civilized soul in dire need. Here, take my spare. I shall fashion my... You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but this is a dangerous time for the bazaar. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin, or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. Find me in the camp if you have need of me again.
You'd think with all these people waiting to get in, the bazaar would be amazing. You promised to buy me a new think. coat when we get inside, remember? Howdy, strangers. Name's Six Fingered Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself, because I got no say in what he's going to do. Who knows? I've only got five fingers on each hand. Same as anyone else. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. <laughs> I'm not the sword who'd kiss and tell, though. Only that they make more money than I do. Bastards. But to answer your question, nah, I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He knows all about the local lowlife. Be seeing you. Felicitations. It is common wisdom to keep one's mouth shut when one lacks courteous things to say. Truly, I find the very idea of smuggling people revolting. If I were a less discreet person, I'd suggest that you drive out to the old parking garage down the road to the north. Who knows? You may find your answers there. Have an exquisite day. R.I.P. bringing you your daily dose of monster movie facts. Did you know that the movie Escape from Psycho Prison was filmed right here in Colorado? Old Supermax Prison. You know what, I think I'm actually going to just say it because it's like 3.14. I've had a 12-hour work day. I'm kind of tired. And that bug just kind of killed me. Hey, I got another long day in the morning. Because it's frozen.
hours in here. Work hours are gonna be a bit boring. And I got a lot of stuff to do. Madam, please. I was gonna say. Something is fishy here, and, and I will see you all later. Y'all take it easy. I'm, I'm just gonna clock out.